work is to be listening to. I am like the audience. I do things, but um, my main activity is to enjoy the sound too. So this distance between the action and the production and the listening is a very interesting experience. Organ can be also low in terms of frequencies. It's like a journey from the bottom of the ocean to the surface. For me, the trajectory is like to be low, but first I, I will go more down and after I, I, I go up. Like um, if I was in a big submarine or um, spaceship. So this piece is a um, composition collaboration with uh, French composer Hélène Radig, kind of pioneer of um, electronic music. She started in the 60s. Our music is uh, always uh, evolving. When you listen to the piece, it's changing so slowly in an almost impossible to hear way, but uh, it's never the same. I'm not improvising on the spot in a sort of macro way, but in a micro way. A lot of the material is not totally fixed, so the form itself is quite set. I guess through the, the elements that I've chosen to work with, like guitar and voice and synthesized sounds and electronics and stuff, I feel like it works when all of those elements are kind of working in harmony. When I say that I'm trying to create an environment, I'm not talking about a specific environment that you could name, obviously. Sort of aiming to create moods through intuition, and it's nice to hear when people also kind of go somewhere. Um, I'm happy if my music can be like transporting in any way. Your feeling of home has a lot to do with your memories. It's all about where are we? As I get older, these memories are disappearing. The sadness of something, you're losing something. By putting it into my work, you know, I'm re-remembering it because there are so many things you just don't want to forget. Field recordings in my work, they are a snapshot of a memory. And adding the music on top of that creates a beautiful you know, composition for me. Strasti sú prirodzeným pokračovaním toho, čo sme s Luciou začali pred dvoma rokmi a s čím ona vlastne začala už v roku 2014 na Ukrajine. Sama prešla i neprišla. David sa naučil ukrajinsky a všetky dialekty, takže už plnilo rozpráva s miestnymi a naučil sa hrať na husle od miestných huslistov. Zbierali sme piesne, ktoré súvisia s aktuálnou situáciou. 
teraz je ten rozdiel v tom, že je vlastne zakázané hrať akúkoľvek hudbu uh, mimo kostolov a vôbec náboženských rituálov. To znamená, že to, čo nás zaujímalo predtým, sa, sa v podstate vytratilo. Čiže sa tá hudba a tá tradícia, ten spev presunul do úplne iných miest, iných kontextov, iných významov. Nás celkom zaujímala tá transformácia z niečoho tradičného do nového, do populárnej kultúry. Nejaké piesne, ktoré predtým boli možno skôr spomienkou na nejaké vojnové časy, tak teraz práve požili. Tak to nás zaujímalo funkčnosť toho, že ako, ako vlastne prežite vďaka hudbe. Robertina started as Kuduro with Mar Fox and the Niga Fox and all the OGs, if I can say that, back in 2005-06. They are the pioneers of our uh, generation and our culture. So when they start to, you know, uh, take some bass from Kuduro and then put it together with some Portugal stuff, we just call it ghetto. The sound is from where I grew up, from Lisbon, and then we push it hard as we can. I mean, the authenticity is what helps us go through the day and stuff. People like to dance, listening, so yeah. 